cake. For the following exercise, consider pizza real that sells pizza for revenue at that and cost at that. Um, find the profit function for the number of pizzas. The profit function. Find the profit function for the number of pizzas. Okay, so the profit function will be uh, the revenue minus the cost, obviously. So that's minus dx squared plus a minus cx minus b. How many pizzas give the largest profit per pizza? So the derivative here, minus two dx plus a minus c equals zero. So that means x would be c minus a over minus 2d, a minus c over 2d. Um, so we have to assume a is more than c and d is positive, I guess. Um, okay. So the second derivative is minus 2d. And again, if we assume d is positive, which doesn't say so on the question, um, that's a negative, so make that a max. Now, tree, tree, tree. Tree, tree, two. Assume that and that how many pizzas shall maximize the profit. So that would be A, A, which is 10, minus C, the coefficient of X, 2, uh, over 2D, D, the coefficient of the square. That's 4. Tree, tree, 4. Assume that, okay, so that's the A. And then that's the B, C, D. How many pizzas sold to maximize the profit? So again, that's A minus C over 2D. That's 12. 12 for that. And we need this in the question. Okay. Um, let's check the answers. Um, tree, tree, tree is four. That's all we can check. Okay. Let's see what's next. For the following exercise, consider a wire four foot long, cut into two pieces. One piece forms a circle with radius r, and the other piece forms a square of side x. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, let me um make a note about that one. Tree, tree, to A needs to be more than C and D needs to be positive. Hey. Hey. For the following exercise, consider a wire four foot long, cut into two pieces. One piece is a circle with radius R. Um, radius r and the other one's a square with x. So if it's four, four foot, so what um, the amount of wire used here is 2 pi r and here is 4x and if we add that together that should be 4. 
maximize the sum of the areas. So the area is pi r squared plus x squared. That would be pi and then the r squared plus x squared. So r squared is 4 minus 4x over 2 pi. That's kind of, that's a 2, that's a 2. So that's pi. 2 minus 2x, 4 minus 8x plus 4x squared plus x squared. So the derivative, the a dx, will be minus 8 pi plus 8 pi plus 1. Uh, no, plus 2x. x plus 2x, sorry. That's gone. Minus 8 pi. Minus 8 pi. Minus 8 pi. 8 pi x plus 2x equals 0. x equals... 8 pi, 8 pi plus 2, 4 pi, 4 pi plus 1. Let's check the answers. Mm -hmm. Am I looking at the wrong one? Huh? Zero? Zero? Hmm. That's approximately 0 0.926. So let's just check. If I square that, then this would be 0 0.858. OK, pi r squared. pi r squared and the radius uh, is a fraction 4 minus 4 x all over 2 pi okay and then we square that and we multiply it by pi oh no I must have typed in something wrong here It's that's 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 three point seven. Here and then that means the circumference here is two point zero point two nine six. Okay, so a radius would be zero point zero. Four seven, yeah. Is that right? Four, over. Yeah. So this must be a case then that I haven't checked the second derivative yet. That's equal to 8 pi plus 2, which is positive, which makes it a minimum. Yeah, so now we have to check the boundary. And the boundary is x is 0 or uh, 1. Isn't it? So you could have x is 0, 
no square, the biggest circle, or the biggest square, no circle. Yeah. So when, the when x is 0, it's just uh, the area will be pi r squared. All four feet go here. So 4 divided by 2 pi. Hang on. Divided by 2 pi, yeah. So for 2 pi r. So yeah, uh, pi r squared. Let's see? One point two seven, and then the other, the one uh, area would be one. So yeah, we want to go with x is zero. Oh yeah, and then three three six. Well, we know that that one is the x equals uh, four pi over four pi plus one, which is roughly. 0 0.926 feet. Oh, it doesn't have that answer because it's even. Oh, well. Okay. I think that's okay. I think we can leave it there for today. Thank mm -hmm. you.